I tried scoring a straight line with a jig I made up on my last stove, and I just can't get I just can't get a straight line. So I saw online another method of making a straight line around a curved object, and that's just to lay it down, pull you out a bunch of tape, and uh, just roll it around there without putting any kinks in it. And I did that, and uh, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take my cutting wheel, cut the top off of this right now. And uh, I'll show you a second of that cut. I'm trying to get rid of these. I got two little tiny blades I'm trying to use up. up of uh, the top on it. It's not well lit on yet, but uh, it's getting there. And uh, I wanted to also mention that if you happen to notice how how I always dress like a slacker out here, it's because uh, I ruined so many clothes being out here welding. I have to wear my oldest, junkiest clothes. And yeah, I'm growing my beard back. <laughs> All right, let me get close up to that. That's what we got so far. Okay, I got the inner pipe cut out. I'm gonna weld that, and uh, I'll show you the finished product when I get welded. Uh, I thought I would give you a couple seconds of spectacular welding footage. But I couldn't find a spectacular welder, so you'll just have to watch me. Uh, 
Okay. Not spectacular, but I think it's as good as the frog toads. Alright, now I gotta cut this out to make room for that. Okay, I got that cut out. I got that fit in. Now, I gotta cut this out and the top. This is the grill, the top of it. I gotta cut that square out. Fill this up with vermiculite. Weld the top on. Figure out what I'm gonna make legs out of. I, I don't know. I got, oh, I got some one by one pipe up underneath there, square pipe. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll make some square legs. And then uh, let's see. I got a dowel here. I'm gonna make a nice handle for uh, right up here, right in front of it, where you can pick it up and move it around. And we're done. Well, I'll hit it with some barbecue black. Oh no, I gotta make a, a floor plate for in here. The wood lays on the floor plate and uh, the air goes underneath the floor plate. About halfway done, I guess. All right, I got that cut out. Let's see, vermiculite and legs, and then I can go to welding this. What do you think? Coming along. Uh, I'm going to get you a close up of some really pretty weld. What do you think of that, the frog toad? Actually, that's my only good weld. <laughs> it's my bad weld. But uh, I have an excuse. Uh, I had to stand up to weld these and uh, to weld the legs on I was able to set it on that and sit in that and you can weld a lot better when you can really get it up close plus I have to wear these to see anything so there's my list of excuses if you need more let me know uh, don't have the vermiculite yet so I'm gonna make the plate to fit in here I'm gonna make the handle that goes here and uh, tomorrow my wife wants to go to Evil Mart and I'll pick up some uh, vermiculite, put it in here, weld the top on, cut this off, paint it black, and uh, it's done. And then I've got to wait for my wife to finish her awesome quilt and then we can start the uh, subscriber contest. Alright, I'm drilling a hole through the tabs that I'm going to weld on there to put a handle in. <laughs> put these in the water because they are I just finished grinding them and they're red hot okay I'm gonna weld them on okay that's as far as I can go I got the damper plate in I got the handle welded on uh, that's all I can do till tomorrow so uh, I <clears throat> just thought I would do uh, there will be hell today a favor Alright, I want to put this video up because uh, it's probably going to be a two-part anyway. See ya.